Look, I first want to say a few words that what is critical, and that is that we have made a decision today to secure and safeguard Australian jobs right across the aviation industry, and we are committed to fight to make sure that happens. The decision that's come down from Fair Work Australia today has had two very important aspects and the consequence of a, a number of critical things that will affect the aviation industry and many industries across the country. First of all, we've been able to secure a wage increase, including during the period that the company were adamant when they were delaying the tact using delaying tactics to stop wage increases from occurring, they've now got a backdated 12 months. Secondly, the company has been told absolutely clearly by the courts that they cannot outsource to labour hire companies and force compulsory redundancies. They are two critical questions that were put forward by our members of the union in wide-ranging surveys of thousands of employees and appropriately negotiated through and eventually arbitrated through the courts. What is particularly um, uh, clear about this decision, and the court has said, regardless of the fact that Qantas controls 70 per cent of the Australian domestic aviation market, because of competition in the market, they were not prepared to award outsourced employees the same rates of paying conditions and rights. That is a decision which will have an effect and is having an effect on many hundreds and future thousands of Australian workers in the aviation industry. We're announcing today, as part of the fight to secure a safe and secure skies, that we'll be launching a multi-million dollar campaign to have industry-wide outcomes, legislative change, and anyone flying in our airspace, no matter where they're from, domestically and internationally, should be getting paid our pay rates and conditions and training and security right across the aviation industry. What's very clear from this decision that the court has ruled that whilst the market is able to go to the lowest common denominator, that it should not be that it's allowed to make that decision at its own behest. I also make this observation that the head of the commission, an ex Freehills lawyer, uh, a company that is well renowned since the waterfront dispute as a union busting company, has made some very important observations as the head of this inquiry, head of this decision, this arbitration. And that is that when there's competition in the market, that when labour hire are engaged in secure employment, then the lowest common denominator rules. And we're quite clearly making an announcement today that we are going to fight the right of Australian workers in this industry, as in other industries, the right to have secure, safe jobs.